Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to City Skylines Campus. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you happen to be, whatever time it happens to be. I hope it's a good one because I'm really excited to be back. I've been enjoying the heck out of City Skylines the last couple of days. I've been working on a project that you'll see in... Uh, a couple of days. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what I'm doing. If you follow me on Twitch, you know what I'm doing, but I'm really, really excited for it. I'm doing another Let's Build, and it's going to be... Okay, I'll tell you what it is. I'm 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 building another tiered city. I know, super original, but I'm building it because I want to see what I could do with it in 2019. So that's the thing you're going to see in a couple of days. But today, I just want to keep working with Nerdsy because I have been a little bit busy around here. I decided to finally go in and start putting some trees into Walnut City Park, which is kind of being done in a similar way to how I did the trees over in Spring Park. It's just a lot more dense. I'm doing a lot of this path work with the, uh, the paintbrush to make it look like there's sort of dirt paths throughout all the trees. And I'm realizing if I really wanted to, I could make those functional. And I'm I'm kind of wanting to try this really quickly to see if that is something I can do. So I'm going to turn off like all of our guides here. I'm going to turn off collisions and I'm going to go in and we're going to see, you know, is this is this something we can we can actually achieve here? Because what I'm thinking is if I was to do, say, I don't actually want to connect this. That's the one thing. I don't want to connect it. But if I go in and turn off all of this, I can grab that node, move it over here, and then there's a segment in there I can grab as well. If I do this, it nice sort of follows it around. And what we can do is hopefully we can go ahead and just have this actually loop around and, uh, and connect to everything. And I think that would look really good. So that's that's the thing I kind of want to try. And uh, I'm going to turn off a lot of angle snapping and stuff here to make sure this works the way I want it to. But I think this would look kind of neat if uh, if we do actually get people sort of walking through these paths. And if this works, then fantastic. If it doesn't, then, you know, no big deal. Um, but I would love, love, love for this to actually work. So if I move that node to there, I'm wondering if people can actually use that path. I don't. I don't know for sure. It is kind of hard to see the path, I'll be honest. But I'd be really curious to see if anyone would actually use the dirt path. I I guess we'll just have to sort of wait and find out. Because I don't know if it has to be connected to this path. Or if the fact that the nodes are sort of overlapping, it'll work kind of the way paths sometimes work in city skylines, I guess. So we'll find out. If it has to be connected, then I'll connect it. If it doesn't have to be connected, then great. Either way... There's no big loss there. Uh, you can't really see that I've done that, but that's, that is what I've done everywhere. I've just put these paths in. I've made this very, very dense as well because I just figured it would look better, especially if you come down here. I want you to look out these windows and be driving along these roads and just seeing a really dense forest because I think it looks fantastic. So that's that's why this is as dense as uh, as it is. And that's what I want to do down here. That's the thing we're going to get to very shortly. I'm not going to show you the entire build process for doing this, but just in case you haven't seen me do that kind of thing before, I'll show you how I would design one of these squares, then I'll do the other one, and then we'll go on with some other stuff. But before we do that, I've also done just a little bit of work over here. I don't know if I've actually shown all of this off. I don't really remember what I did in the last episode, um, but I've done just a little tweak here, a little tweak there, just to uh, add a little bit of detail to this. I don't know if I showed off this gazebo in the last episode or not. Uh, I don't know if that was there. I don't think I did because the last episode was me building all of the town hall and stuff. So basically, I've just put trees around it. I put plants around it. I've I've just made it all come to life a little bit. Still a lot of empty space that I want to play with. I still need to figure out what's going in all of that empty space, but uh, we'll figure that out at some point, hopefully in the near future. Uh, we also, I want to point out, Demand Master, I'm not using, uh, in case anyone sees me hover over this and they're like, oh, you've got Demand Master again, you remember what happened last time, I'm not going to be using Demand Master. That's only enabled because I forgot to turn it off for the last build that I'm doing. So don't stress too much about that. It is not being used in this Let's Play whatsoever. It is something I don't want to go near because it breaks everything. 
Speaking of everything, I also went in and put a bunch of bushes around all the paths around the stadium here. Also put a bunch of trees around here and just brought it to life a little bit more. It's very similar to the town hall. A lot of empty space that I still need to do stuff with. Uh, I'm going to figure that out, though. I, I still want to figure out how to detail this uh, the best way. And you know what? I'm going to experiment with this video. You might have noticed that the channel name has changed. You might have noticed that the banners have changed. The thumbnails and titles are sometimes a little bit different. When I announced that on the communities tab here on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash conflict nerd slash community, I think um, a few people were like, hey, what about the comments? Are those being turned back on? We're going to use this video as a test. First and foremost, um, I'm going to turn comments on for this video. I want your suggestions for what we do with these big open grass areas. I want to know what you guys think we should do. And if that works, if the comments aren't filled with the stuff that they're usually filled with, and I know acknowledging that is a way to bait it, and I believe me, I know when people are just trying to bait me to be annoyed, I know the difference. If, the, if there's good discussion, I'll think about turning comments on for more videos in the future, and then maybe one day we'll gradually go back towards having comments on completely. If you would rather not use the YouTube comments, then there's also reddit.com slash r slash conflict nerd official, discord.gg slash Dylan, uh, that's changed. It's not slash conflict nerd anymore. And twitter.com slash conflict nerd. It's a little confusing right now because some of them are still the, the old name. Some of them are new ones. Some of them are going to stay the old name. But anyway, that's the thing we're going to do. All right. I want your suggestions for what we do with detailing. I want your suggestions for here as well. And with that, we've spent seven and a half minutes here not doing anything. Let's start working in this park. So... The way I I do this is it's pretty simple. I'm not this isn't a tutorial. I'm not going to sit here and say that this is the right way to do things. But basically, I just I pick a point. In this case, I'm going to say here, and I just start going out a little bit and I weave back and forth a little bit because this is kind of more of a natural path. It shouldn't be uh it shouldn't be perfectly straight. And I do like to go in and just sort of, you know, expand it a little bit, give it a little bit of inconsistency with the size for whatever reason. And uh, then on this one, I want us to take a sharp turn and I want to go underneath the the highway there. And again, keep it a little bit, keep it a little bit ragged, keep it a little bit, you know, a little bit weird looking. Uh, we're going to go underneath the highway there. And uh, what I want to do is have it sort of come back up this way and then back over to here. All right. So it's going to be like a little kind of natural trail of sorts. And uh, what I'm also going to do is have a path come out of here and go link up right about there. So we're gonna have it sort of loop around. You can go through the trees if you want, or you can stick to the concrete path, do whatever you wanna do. Uh, but I kinda dig that. And then in this middle spot, I'm just gonna expand it into a bit of a circle. Because we can put some benches in there, or a gazebo, or whatever we really wanna put in there. Uh, and that'll be a beautiful thing. Now the cool thing with these paths, when you expand them out a little bit, is it can help to, uh, dictate where your trees are going and where your bushes are going and all that stuff and that's kind of why i really like doing this because it breaks up what would otherwise be a huge huge cluster of just trees that's that's the thing with this like yes this is a huge cluster of trees especially like that part um but it is also broken up it's not just a clump of of trees that's not all it is and i i like that a lot uh let's do the path for this side as well just very quickly. I'm going to keep this one a little bit more simple. It's just going to sort of weave over like this. Uh, and then we'll have a little bit sort of weave up like uh, something like this, I think. And it can connect there. Uh, we'll do a little circle sort of there as well. Not a perfect circle, but it's, you know, it's those imperfections that make it a little bit more interesting. Kind of like people, if we're going to go there. If we're going to get really, really deep about our parks here, then it's the imperfections that make people interesting. I've never met a person that is 110% perfect, and that's what makes people great. It's those imperfections that make people interesting and fascinating, that makes everyone who they are. Uh, and if it's not obvious, uh, <laughs> if you've been following me, if you've been following me on Twitter, you'll be aware I've recently had some problems with my teeth, and uh, I may be getting some uh, dental surgery towards the end of October to uh, remove some wisdom teeth. Uh, but if it's not obvious, uh, I, I, I am on some painkillers to cope with that. So if you're wondering why I'm talking like I'm a little bit out of it, uh, that's kind of why. But I do mean that. I, I genuinely do. 
I think it's it's those like there was there was this song I remember um, always hearing about because people always used it on like. Oh, back when I had a lot of people on Facebook from high school, every time they'd been in a relationship relationship with someone, uh, it was there was a song. I don't remember who it was by, but it was like there was one of the lyrics talked about someone's perfect imperfections, and it was always that song. It was always, always that song that people used. It's like thinking of you, and then it's that song, and then it became um, an Ed Sheeran song. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not really, not really into a lot of that music myself. Uh, but there you go. There's, there's an insight into the people I went to high school with. They were very much your typical, like, you know, ah, oh, we've been in a relationship for two weeks. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get married, have three kids. And, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> what am I doing? Is this, <laughs> does this count as a one man podcast? Cause I could go on. I could go on quite considerably about the people I went to high school with and just some of the people I've known over the years. Because there's there's this strange, like... That was always one of the strangest things for me with, like, people getting into relationships. Um, was this idea of, like, hey, they, you know, it's like, we've been together two weeks. We're, like, super serious now. And then there was that whole other side of it. It's like, we're not properly dating until it's Facebook official. And it's like, what? What? You've been together two weeks, but you're uh, you're super serious, but not serious enough to be Facebook official. I hate Facebook official. To be fair, I hate Facebook. I don't. I barely use it, but that's besides the point. Actually, no, that's entirely the point. I get in so much trouble with my. Oh, this conversation's going everywhere. Good lord. Um, I get in so much trouble with family because I don't respond to their messages on Facebook. I don't know if anyone else will have this. But I've got family in England and, and America, and, uh, you know, they're my family. I love them to death, but I don't use Facebook much. Like, I'll jump onto Facebook for 30 seconds to see what's going on in the news feed, but then I'll just close it for the rest of the day. But because I went on Facebook, Facebook then shows me as online, and it usually shows you for online a little bit longer than you've actually been online. So then I get a message... And by the time the message has been sent to me, I'm already offline, but it shows me as online. And then uh, someone sends me a message, it updates to show me offline, and they're like, oh, I send him a message and he goes offline. It's like, no, I just don't use Facebook. I don't like it. I don't like Facebook. <laughs> I just have it because it's kind of essential to have a Facebook page when you're like a content creator or something. I don't know. That's That's... I don't know what the point of that conversation was. Maybe you can relate to not really liking Facebook and having like just having it as a messenger for family because that's kind of all it is for me. But I'm really bad at using it as a messenger for family as they will they will confirm. I mean, they won't like I, I, I don't think I mean, maybe maybe someone maybe a family member of mine will go down and be in the comments. I I know my mom comments on. Uh, well, I would say comments on my YouTube stuff. Not so much lately with the comments being off. But uh, on Twitch, at least, my mum pops in from time to time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we've got this side sort of done here. I want to do this side of the trees as well. And I am, again, like I said, I'm making this super dense because I do want to expand the city a little bit further. And I do want to make sure that in the middle of it, you have this beautiful expanse of really dense trees. I want this to be like the lungs of the city, right? This is... You know, it's to, to counteract all of the, the pollution coming out of the city and all that stuff. So it's kind of, it's the lungs of nerds is, is kind of the way I look at this this park right here. Speaking of which, I, speaking of nerds I read the description of this Let's Play recently. Because I was updating a lot of my, my YouTube descriptions to have the new Discord link. And uh, I realized the description still says, and probably still says on this video, that the goal is to build not one, not two, but three campuses. We're, what, 13 episodes into this series? Admittedly, if I'd been posting videos regularly, we'd be a lot further in. Um, and we've done, what, just about one campus? We should probably fix that, huh? We also don't have an airport. Um, there's a lot of things we just don't have that I really want to uh, to get, so... 
I'm thinking that the after this episode, because this is going to be a bit of a design episode, um, and after I've built the, the new tiered city 2019 edition, which again will be out in a couple of days, uh, I really want to double down on getting this series back to being really regular. I'm going to make Minecraft really regular as well. I know some people aren't too keen on that, but I'm loving Minecraft, so whatever. Um, I want to make this series super regular, and I want to get back to what the goal was, which was to build three functional, profitable campuses. And I don't know if that's actually possible. I've not watched anyone do that. I generally don't watch other people play the games I'm playing on YouTube anyway. That's that's not like, you know, I don't watch City Skylines. I, I, I don't watch it because I don't want to risk copying someone. Because I used to do that. I remember uh, when I would be watching like, James Flabaliki uh, playing some City Skylines or Biffa or Strict Toaster or anyone. Uh, I'd watch it and then I'd go record an episode, not intending to like copy them, but uh, like I'd say something or do something in my episode that was really similar to something they'd done in one of their episodes recently. And then it's like, oh wait, no, I need to delete that because I don't want to copy them. And yeah, it's, that's kind of just why. I'm really easily influenced by some of the stuff I watch um, in terms of, like, creativity and all that in City Skylines, so I try to avoid that where possible. Uh, now we've got a lot of nice plants in there. I do want to go in and do the same over here, so while we're doing that, uh, I do want to mention, actually, on the note of copying people, there's actually been a lot of times where I've, like, accidentally done that kind of thing, because I, not so much recently, but just mentioning, uh, like, well, James, uh, I remember, I don't remember what series of mine it was or which of his it was, but there was a while, a couple of years ago, I remember I put out a video or one of us put out a video and then like an hour later, the other put out a video that was like a, almost an identical topic uh, for City Skylines. Like we we're both kind of building the same thing. I think he put his out first and then mine went out. And then, like, the comments on mine were like, hey, this is really similar to what James just did. And then some on his were like, hey, Conflict Nerd just, like, totally copied you. And then, uh, and then I think one of us DM'd the other and was like, hey, that's weird. Like, because we hadn't spoke in weeks at that point. Uh, and it was just, like, a weird coincidence. So that's always fun when you accidentally copy someone without ever speaking to them, because... Yeah, YouTube comments are pretty ruthless sometimes. <laughs> they they are definitely that. I'm also thinking instead of putting benches there, I'm going to put a big tree in the middle of this little intersection. And I'm going to just take out the uh, the dirt from around it. Because I think that'll look kind of neat. Just having that in there. Uh, I also want to grab it and just sort of move it to be more central. And I think around that we could do some benches. And I'm gonna go for these like regular base game city skylines benches because I just think they look neat. Uh, so there, and then on this side as well, and on this side as well. So there we go. That'll just make that area kind of nice. And I think a nice little like a couple of little lights in here might not be a bad idea. So something like that just to uh, just to give a bit of brightness to it as well because those pathways are going to be super dark at night and super dangerous and treacherous and shady which is uh not really a way you want to describe your park that you're tediously building but there you go super dark and shady that's my park I think this works. I I like it a lot. It's just a big bunch of trees, but I, I kind of dig it. It's uh, It's got the look that I was going for. It's super dense. It, uh, it absolutely does the job. Uh, I do want to go in, though, and I do want to take that out because I'm going to try and connect this. I want to see what it looks like 
if I run this path directly into that path. It's uh, it's not great, but I'm I'm curious to see you know what uh, what it would look like if we actually had people walking through there. So we'll connect those together and hopefully 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 we're going to see someone that's like, "Hey, I want to use this path." I kind of doubt it cuz I think this would probably be quicker, but you never know, I suppose. And I guess we could maybe run a path out through there as well. Let's do that and just see if we can actually get people that are going to be keen to uh, to use all of this. So that needs to roll around there. That needs to roll sort of that way. And we'll just sort of have this gradually, gradually, gradually go like that. So that'll hopefully do some things for us. I'd really like to see people use them. I Again, I have my doubts, but it would be neat. I think it would be neat to see people actually, you know, going through there and, and all that stuff. I'd really, I'd like to see it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold my breath, I think is, is the big takeaway here. Because I think that's gonna end up being longer than some of the other paths, but you never know. I'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens. If people do start using it, then great. I can go ahead and do that same thing with uh, with all of the other dirt paths in here as well and see if we can actually get people moving around like that. If not, then I'll just take them out and, you know, nothing's really been lost there. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Now that that's done, I, I do kind of want to start looking towards what else needs to be done around here. And before we get on to doing another campus or doing an airport or doing anything like that, I actually want to come down to the docks here because we never finished this. And this is something that's been bugging me for a while because this area needs finished. Uh, honestly, the zoo probably needs a lot of detailing as well. I'm actually very tempted to uh, maybe take the zoo out and move it elsewhere because I don't know how I feel about it in that area anymore. It's just very difficult to... It doesn't look the way I wanted it to look, I guess, is basically what I'm trying to say there. So maybe this area here just goes back to being sort of all natural, but we'll figure that out another time. Because what I want to do with the docks, first and foremost, is I want to come down here and I want to make sort of a big uh, service area, if that makes sense. So I want to take this rock out of there and I want to go in and I want to take out all of the... Uh, the trees in this area as well because what I want to do is in this space I want to go in and I want to basically put down uh, a bunch of power plants a bunch of like this thing could probably be moved over there the pumping service obviously the nuclear power plant can be moved over there uh, other things can be moved in there as well into this main area here so that's kind of what I want to do so to start with that I want to make it sort of look like a one big facility. So to do that, I'm going to go here for 20 units and that's going to be fine. I'm going to need to turn collisions back on because I don't want zoning um, underneath that, uh, that train track there. So let's just do that again so it's done right. So something like that. And we're going to pause to do this because we're going to be moving a lot of things around. Something like that, and then a nuclear power plant can go right there. And I think that's fine. So we have this little road in front of it. I could maybe turn that into an industrial road. Would that look better? I I, I kind of dig the industrial road, actually, so we're going to do that. Uh, but what I want to do then is come down like this. Uh, let's turn off road guidelines real quick. And... I think for that, for, for the next power plant, I am going to use this road because then what I can do is put the power plant on it and make it sort of, again, look like one big uh, facility, especially if I was to then go in and paint in a little bit of uh, concrete in here. We can just make it look like it's, it's one thing rather than two separate power plants. Obviously, there is a bit of a gap between them, but that's okay. That's not really going to be the end of the world. Uh, so we'll make it sort of work. We'll do a little bit of dirt there. I'll put some details on the side. And I think that'll just sort of look okay. I I kind of dig that. It's also kind of imposing coming down the highway or going out the highway and seeing those cooling towers. But again, I, I kind of dig that. So that's fine. Uh, at the back of that, I want to go in. I want to do this across to there. 
And those are probably just going to be dead-end roads. So that's totally fine. That's basically going to be our power plants. And that's all that needs to be. We're also probably going to want some garbage disposal. So I think that could probably go over on this side. Which is exactly what we'll do with it. So garbage disposal can essentially go... Uh, along this little road here, which isn't huge, but that's fine. We get eight units on that side, eight on that side. So let's bring a road through here. And let's do recycling centers. It's pretty much all I like to use in these kind of situations. So a couple of recycling centers there, and then we'll do, you know, we'll just do four of them back to back, basically. So back to back recycling centers, something like that looks fine by me. And then I want the road to curve up and around to meet that one. So just like that should be fine. That actually looks all right. Uh, can I get this road to match that one? Is that, uh, is that going to be an option? That's eight units there. Uh, that's seven by seven and straight in there. So that looks all right. Again, that's going to kind of just loop around the way uh, I would like it to. I don't really know how I'm going to get this all to properly fit together yet, though. I'm also thinking that maybe a road on that side wouldn't be such a terrible idea, but we'll figure that out shortly. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get this to fit, like, onto this road, what the best way to connect it would be, because I don't think that kind of thing there is going to be a good idea. And I don't think connecting it there is a good idea, because these garbage trucks are going to need to filter in one way or other. Maybe a connection to the highway wouldn't be a terrible idea so that vehicles have a way sort of directly out of this area. Uh, that might actually not be a terrible idea. So if we were to do something like that, uh, and then something like, let's see here, uh, something like this. Can I can I get like a nice uh, turn off guidelines? Uh, let's see. So something like that, potentially. It's not the most like elegant, way out onto the highway, but it would be a way to go, like just down there and out. Might not be a terrible idea. I'd like to do it a bit neater though. So what would be the neatest way to do that kind of highway connection is, is my question. And I guess the answer is going to be, we'll start here and we'll go, let me see here. Can I get this to line up like really close to that, uh, to that highway road? I don't think it's going to let me, unfortunately. Um, so if I did that, right? If I did that and then had this sort of curve around like that, that's not so bad. I feel like I can make that work. So let's just put this road kind of in there to cut it off. And let's bring this road sort of down a bit and we'll have that curve around. I think that'll be okay-ish. It's not exactly perfect, but I think it'll be okay-ish. So that's nine by nine. That's, that's a pretty nasty looking curve, honestly. Okay, so I threw out the idea of trying to connect it to the highway. It just looked terrible. And I realized that there's a highway connection like right around the corner from it anyway. So it just didn't make sense to try and do that. Uh, I did decide to just do this sort of thing for a way in and a way out, and I'm hoping that traffic will sort of feather out kind of nicely from this. I don't know if feathering is the word I want to use here, but I'm hoping it'll just, I guess, fan out kind of nicely from that area and not be too crazy. Um, otherwise, you know, I'll go back in. I'll figure something out. We'll change it. We'll make it better. Uh, but I'm hopeful. I'm definitely hopeful, and I'm also looking forward to, you know, actually getting, uh, do we not have enough water? We do have enough water. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing the trucks kind of go around and do their thing. We've got excess water being stored in these tanks down here, which are honestly just there for a bit of detailing, but that's kind of fine by me. Um, I'm also wanting to put, I think, either, I mean, we could try and put a factory in here. We, we could. We could try and do, like, the household plastic factory which needs uh petroleum and plastic we could do the toy factory but i don't think i want to do that and i also need to stop like you know breathing into the microphone that would be really great um let's do the household plastic factory i think i don't think the electronics one is is one that i want but a household plastic factory like right in the middle might not be a terrible idea then up here i think what we could do is a small warehouse 
I don't think that, yeah, that one's not going to fit. But we can do like a small one right there. And it's going to be storing, uh, let's see here. We can't really stole, store uh, household plastics. So that's a unique factory product because I think that's going to consider be considered household plastics. So now that these are all in, and that's more or less all I really want in this area anyway. Now that these are all in, what I want to do is go in and start putting in uh, parking lots, actually. So one, two, three right there. We'll do three parking lots across. Uh, if I could move this factory down by one, which I'm gonna, because I can use move it, uh, I'd put a couple of parking lots there and there as well. Now that one ever so slightly goes onto, uh, onto the road there. So I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take you out. And we're gonna just slightly fix that. So up to about there. What kind of curve are we looking at then if we were to do that? That's gonna be a, what is it? It's a, so this needs to go two units further. It's gonna be a five by five, I think. So you need to go to there, I believe. And then that should be a five by five. There we go. So we got our parking lots in there as well. I'm thinking it'd be nice to get a couple of parking lots over here too. So let's see if that's going to be an option. Um, it's looking like it will be. I could do a road straight across there. That's not really what I want to do. I'm thinking just uh, just a parking lot there. And I do have in here somewhere these little parking lots that can be sort of placed sideways. Those are pretty great to, uh, to fill up space. So we can do something like that if we really wanted to. I think I will keep that one in there. And I think I will do another one of those. Can I do it down here? No. Where else could I put one of these? In there? Ooh, that's a good little space filler there, isn't it? Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, so the reason I'm putting these parking lots in is because something I want to do with this area is have a lot of, like, uh, industrial fence and the, the ore industry fence is pretty good for this kind of area, for one, because it's just a, it's a metal fence. It's pretty, pretty sturdy looking. So I want that to go across, uh, across here. And uh, what I think I'm going to do with it is put a little bit in the middle so I can just use that as a base to stretch that out to the road then get rid of that bit. And uh, it looks pretty solid. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty solid. Uh, then I will have it sort of curve around the road a little bit, curved on that road as well. But what I'm wondering is, can I go in and can I? I absolutely can. So we're going to paint this area, essentially, is, is my plan. I want to paint all of this in. And I want to... Um, basically have each of the buildings so the well these guys will all be considered sort of one facility uh but i want everything to be nicely uh bordered and and to nicely have some kind of you know some kind of thing going on with it basically so we'll grab this segment here we'll just bring it out to about there and that looks all right that nicely curves around uh over here gonna be a similar story so from about there to there and then just curve it uh, sort of backwards a little bit like that. And uh, that looks fine by me. I don't really think we need to fence up this part. Uh, these parts in here don't really need anything. And then down here, going to be another similar story. So we're going to go from about there to, let's say, there. Put a little notch in the middle and extend this down to about there. That's perfect. And then we want to grab the fence again, going from here to there. And I should be able to get a really nice little curve on that. And then basically that's just going to go... Um, I guess we will include this road in the facility. So that road's going to... Or that fence is going to go down to there and to about there. And uh, that looks pretty good to me. I think that looks all right. It's... Uh, just nicely encloses everything. This area down here does need to have some uh, some concrete put into it, though, which is really, really easy to do. So something a bit like that. I am going to need to figure out a way to tidy up the concrete in this corner because that's not too great looking. But I guess what we could do is just throw in a bit of... Just a bit of rubbish, I guess. So something a bit like... What have we got? What have we got? We've got crates and stuff like that. So we could just go in with the... Um, just go in with a few crates, just make it look like it's more of a sort of a dumping area for uh, for stuff that the company doesn't want. It is a recycling center, so we can imagine there would be a few things. We'll throw some like 
proper barrels in there, like keg looking barrels. We'll throw some like old, you know, used up wood there. And we can put a couple of these around it just to make it look like, uh, you know, hey, don't go here. This stuff has like, I don't know. It's got radiation all over it is what it's got. It doesn't, but that's that's what we'll do. We'll just, you know, cover up that corner a little bit and that'll be fine. Uh, what I would like to do as well is throw in some, and I'm going to need to find these because we have these things here, these like recycling trailer bin things. I can get a whole bunch of those. If we search for recycling, there we go. So all of these are going to be really useful. Um, I think they look pretty good. And I think what we can do with them is basically just line a bunch of them up over here. Now we're going to need to turn them raw in for one, but just line a bunch of them up, move them a little, oh, that was the wrong thing. Uh, let's zero that 90 degrees and space them out a little bit less. Uh, so something like that, I think works. I think I want to go another 180 though, just to turn them around. And then about there. So we'll place those. I'm going to take out every other one just for spacing. And that suddenly starts blending everything together. Suddenly we're seeing, you know, a joint uh, recycling center thing here. And I think that looks nice. What else could we go in for, though? What else? What else have we got? We don't have a lot in the industrial category. There are old like burnt out trucks and stuff in here. Lots of rocks, lots of bushes, lots of that stuff. Uh, in here, we've got all the park options. I don't really think we need to do much with those either. I guess we just start putting in dumpsters and and uh, containers and stuff like that. And I think I'm also going to go to the Steam Workshop at some point and get some props uh, for for trucks and stuff like that so I can place those down as well. So I figure that works. I've maybe went a little bit overboard with some of the decals and I would really like to get some new ones off the workshop as well as the trucks that I talked about. Um, I'd also really like to maybe do some stuff with arrows in here at some point and signs and some bollards and more barriers and stuff like that. But I think for the time being for a base kind of like, you know, this was done with mostly stuff in the base game. I think this looks okay. I think this does the job and I'm not going to stress too much about that. I do want to get some trees in there at some point, not in, maybe not into that area, but into some of this area, I do want to get some trees. I'm thinking like up here could probably have something kind of nice, and then back here is going to need barriers to stop, you know, this from just being completely open. But I think that's a pretty solid start for this area. I'm thinking in here is probably going to be, you know what, I think in here can be just a little uh, fire station. I think that'll be kind of nice in uh, in that space could do a large fire station actually let me see what that would look like um oh it does put some stuff on the road i'm not too uh not too keen on that but i could just move it a little bit and bring that stuff off the road ever so slightly that doesn't look so bad and then bring it forward ever so slightly just to bring it further off the road there we go so that's not too bad that actually like that sort of glass side of it looks okay there and then i guess we can go in and just paint a bunch of concrete in here again. So this whole area is just going to be completely paved, I guess, which means this area down here no longer needs to look a bit weird. Uh, we'll just pave all of that. And then I guess what I can do is put some bollards around it. Maybe put some fences behind it or something. You know, I think, uh, would fences or bollards be better? I'm thinking, I'm thinking fence. To be totally honest, I'm thinking fence is going to be the way to go on this. So there to there, uh, from that spot to that spot, that spot to that spot, and then from about the corner to that spot. 
so that should be totally fine. Then I can just ever so slightly curve these out to uh, to make them, you know, look like they actually follow the, the curvature of everything going on there. I think this bit could just be like that. I don't think it needs to go the whole way across. So something just kind of simple uh, will do the job there. And I'm wondering, could I get a cheeky little... No, there's definitely not enough room for uh, for that in there. Be nice to get it underneath there, though. That would actually be really good. Uh, I wonder if I was to... If I was to turn off collisions, I could probably do that. Or, alternatively, I could just be really cheeky, place it there, grab it, and uh, drag it over and put it underneath the, uh, the train tracks. I think that's pretty cool, actually. I, I really dig that. Just some parking underneath the train tracks. That seems like... Uh, uh, the tracks are a little bit low for it, maybe, but I'm going to let that be a thing anyway. Because, again, I just think it looks cool. As for the area around this fire station, uh, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm thinking that maybe, again, this is going to be one of those situations where I'm going to want to go to the uh, workshop and I'm going to want to get myself some uh, some assets to uh, to make this look a little bit better. Uh, what I will do, though, is apparently nothing. Interesting. Can I grab those decals? Did it place them? It did not. Uh, can I can I place this? No. I think those are actual parking, like, zones that I've just placed by accident rather than the decal. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I've just done there, which is a bit awkward, but whatever. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is just place these decals sort of along here so one there and one about there should be totally fine and then maybe one over here as well because we do have vehicles parking there so something a bit like uh let's see here something a bit like that should be fine i mean this 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 one here is a little bit close now but i think i think we can make that work if I just grab those two details and our decals and shift them down a little bit like that, that should be fine. Have we got anything else I could throw in here as a last little bit of detail before we uh, start figuring out what we're going to need from the Steam Workshop? I'm feeling like we probably don't. I think what I will do is just do a uh, little barrier like that because I can and a little barrier like that. Again, just kind of makes it look like there's a little bit more going on there. And uh, I like that a lot. I think what we could do maybe is put a light in there, but it, I never really play at night, so I'm not going to worry too much. Ladies and gentlemen, I think honestly that's going to do us for today. I want to go to the Steam Workshop. I want to grab some fire truck assets. I want to grab some garbage truck assets, old props, so I can place them in here and make these areas look a little bit more uh, built up and make it look like, you know, you've got garbage trucks set out here, fire trucks set out here. All that good stuff. I want to do the same with police cars and just a lot of cars in general. I think that is something I'm going to try and do just to make these areas look a bit more alive. Also, like, the pumping trucks and stuff like that as well. Uh, between episodes, I might also do a bit more detailing to this whole area and try and finish it. Uh, I think next time, though, I want to go in and I, I do want to try and finish the docks uh, as well as obviously uh, respond to the feedback on what we're doing with the, the town hall and the the what do you call it stadium and then i think the episode after that is when we're going to sit down and start looking at either building an airport or start building our second campus or whatever we do need to figure out money as well because we are uh we are losing a lot of money i think honestly we could go into some other industries as well but i i think we have a bunch of avenues we could look at right now i think industries might be one way to go uh i think the campus might have to wait based on how much money we're losing but I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. We've also got the new tiered city coming up in a day or two. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It has been my absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.